this August there are two infrastructure bonds that have been listed. So this is your opportunity to invest in a bond that you don't have to pay any taxes. Let's look at the second bond. I did a video for the first one. Now for the second bond, IFB1 2022-019. It was first issued in 2022 and it's supposed to go for 19 years originally. But since we have 15.6 years remaining, this is how long this bond is going to go for. But it depends on the amount of money that you're going to invest in this bond. I'll do the calculations here so that you can see. The coupon is offering 12.965 interest tax free. Yes, you don't have to pay any tax on this. Maturity is on... 28th january 2041 but the beauty is that with this infrastructure bond there's something that is known as redemption structure that is common um, amongst infrastructure bonds and is not in these other bonds in that if you're going to invest um, 1 million shillings and below so if you're going to invest 300k 500k 600k you're going to get your your investment value, the entire investment value in 2032. All right. When you check that redemption structure. But if you're going to invest what, um, above 1 million shillings, not 1 million shillings, above 1 million shillings. So that is 1.2 million, 3.3 um, uh, million, any amount above 1 million, then this bond is going to go for 15.6 years for you. So that's why if you're going to invest above 1 million shillings, you're going to get back 50% of your investment in 2032. This is the principle. So this is after, it was, I think after 6.5 years. Yeah, 13 times. 13 times is 6.5 years. But we'll go through this calculation. Um, the deadline is 13th. The bond offers payment in August and February. There's no accrued interest. Accrued interest is interest that you don't deserve. Like it's, you're not going to pay any accrued interest. So let's look at the calculation. So in the first one, you're going to invest 1 million shillings. And in the second one, let's say that you want to invest an amount that is above 1 million shillings. In this case, we'll take 2.5 million. Now, like I said, if you're going to invest 1 million shillings and below, 500k 600k your investment is going to go for 6.5 years 6.5 years because when you look at the redemption structure the paper states that on 9th february 2032 you're going to receive 50 percent of an encumbered outstanding principal amount so 50% of unencumbered, this is money that is not tied to a loan because you can get a loan with a bond. So any amount that is not tied to a loan, you're going to get back 50% of it in February. You'll receive 100% final redemption of all outstanding amounts. So the remaining amount of money, you're going to receive it at maturity, which is going to happen on uh, 28th January 2041. There's a clause that any amounts up to 1 million shillings per CSD account at amortization will be redeemed in full. So that's why in the first calculation, if you're going to invest uh, 1 million shillings, your investment is going to go for 6.5 years because if you count the time, the time period between um, August when you're investing in this bond, August 2025 to 9th, February 2032, we have around um, 6.5 years. So the payments are going to be 13 because the payments are usually paid out every six months. So that's why, of course, you get the 12.965% times the 1 million that you're going to invest. You get 129,650 every year. But I just split this into two so that you can know how much you're going to be making in August and in Feb. So in August, let, let's start with Feb. In Feb 2026, you're going to make 64,825. In August 2026, you're going to make 64,825. Then in Feb 2027, the same thing. In August 2027, the same thing. Um, so on and so forth until 9th um, February 2032. So that's why I multiplied with 13 times. Because if you count the number of times, you're going to receive this 64,825. It's 13, which is equivalent to 6.5 years. 
So you'll just do the math there. If you're investing 500K, you just say 500K times 12, 965, you get the full amount. Then you split that into, oh, okay, you just take the full amount times 6.5 years. It's the same thing. In terms of how much you're going to pay for this bond, because your investment value is 1M, it's going to be plus X. We don't know what X is. X is determined by the market. In short, you can pay an amount that is less than 1M. You can pay something like 980,000, um, 965,000, oh, yeah, it's possible, or 999,000. So that's a discount. Or you can pay the 1M flat. So in this case, our X will be a zero. Or you can pay 1.2M or 1,100,000. So in that case, X will be a positive number we never know about this we never know about this until uh, the results come out and you are told on the day that you're supposed to transfer the amount of money so that's something to expect now let's go for 2.5 m if you're to invest 2.5 m of course the same thing you take 2.5 m times the 12.965 because it's tax-free that's how much you're going to make that's around 324,125 every single year Yes, this is the exact amount of money that you're going to make, 324, 125 per year. Divided this by two, then I multiplied with 13 times. Remember, you're going to receive this 324, 125, uh, half of this times 13 times, which is equivalent to 6.5 years. So for the first 6.5 years, you're going to make 2.1 M this figure here this is what you're going to make then after this 6.5 years you're going to receive 50 percent of your investment value so 50 percent times the 2.5 m you, um, the government is going to give you back your 1.2 m so if you want at this time you can use this money and invest it in another bond or you can do something with it so how much money does the government now owe you they owe you half of that since they paid you half of that so again, the 2.5M that you invested initially minus the 1.25M which you have been paid back, you're going to uh, the government is going to remain with 1.2M. So now this 1.2M is now then going to be used to calculate the interest that you're going to earn from this bond. So this time it's going to be 1.25M times again the same interest, the same coupon. That's going to be 162,000 and uh, 0 0.62, this is half of what you are earning before. So here you'll start earning half the interest. Then how many times? 18 times, this is equivalent to nine years. Yeah, this is equivalent to nine years. So for the next nine years, this is how much you're going to make. In total, you're going to make 1.4M uh, 1. for the next nine years. Then the total, interest that you're going to make is going to be just the sum of this one point no it's going to be the sum of this 2.1 plus 1.4 that's around 3.5 m so with 2.5 m you make 3.5 m but it's spread out in terms of how much you're going to pay for this bond again you can pay the 2.5 m you can pay an amount that is above 2.5 m so it can be like 2. Point let's say 6 or 2.55 m or 2.556 m we don't know the market is going to determine but the beauty is that if you invest 2 million shillings above 2 million shillings you have the opportunity to tell the government how much you want to pay for this bond so you don't have to wait for the market to determine the rate for you you have that opportunity and it's usually under competitive or uncompetitive interest when you're paying when you're placing your bid, actually competitive or non-competitive bid when you're placing for this bid. So you can decide to express how much you want to pay for this bond. There's usually a place where they ask you like, what rate would you want to, uh, to key in? So you can do that or you can just accept what the market gives you and you choose a non-competitive bid. I have done a video for the first bond. I'll leave a link in the description.